Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. But let's talk about this, man. Bolger City. Bolger. Oh, um, Shreveport and Bolger, two different places. Two different places. You got Shreveport business, you got Bolger City business. But you grew up in Bolger. What's so special about Bolger City? Bolger, Bolger, it's just separate in itself. It's like the quarters. I can speak on the quarters. Okay. The quarters, I heard, it was like only three ways in, three ways out. But it was like everybody with each other, even if it was some beef or anything. You leave out your house, you ain't got to lock your door because everybody looking out for each other. You feel what I'm saying? But it was just like family. Like our whole hood was family. You feel me? The quarters, 1200 block Birchick, that's where I was at. You feel me? It was family. Like that was the biggest thing. Everybody knew everybody. You really get into it with a nigga, you fight them, tomorrow y'all cool. You feel me? It was family. It was really no serious beef like that inside the hood. You feel what I'm saying? It was really like... Yeah, it was a community, like a real deal community, like real talk. Even like I say, good and bad, but like I say, all in all, everybody looked out for each other. You feel what I'm saying? So like like growing up, it's all it was, like close-knit, like say, you're saying everybody looked out, it was cool. Yeah. Everybody looked at it. was a lot of shooting. It was a lot of shooting and stuff going around. Like, you know, you were being up. Mama tell you, hey, go get under the bed. You hear them shots ring. You hear choppers go all night long. You feel me? But... That was sort of kept away from us. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we weren't just there. That was handled separately. But for us being young, no, nah, everything was cool. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it be, like I say, we're fighting and that stuff like that, but that's what all kids get into. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right about that. And, and uh, in one of your, um, one of your records, um, you just recently brought, what it was, Come Out? Uh-huh. You, had, you, you, you referenced. Man, hey, we put the gun down, we'll throw hands. Yeah, we'll fight all day. I'm a fight. I'm a let me tell you, I'll fight all day because you got something to live for. I got something. I don't want I don't wanna die. You feel what I'm saying? Real deep shit. Like I don't know what nigga talking about. I ain't trying to die today. You know I'm I ain't trying to die today, you feel me? But you feel me in the same thing. I might kill you and I might get caught. Sometimes you do gotta step on something though. Like mm-hmm. real talk. Yeah. You feel me? Sometimes you do. But I'd rather beat you up. Like, oh, if I lose, I lose. But I ain't really just lost too much. But we can get, we can get it up like any time. Like my best friend, my nephew, anybody. If, if it fell to that point, like, yeah, we got tension like that. We can get it up. Like, we don't got to shoot. Like, people think that you got to shoot them or you got a gun that make you tough. No, put a gun down. Let's see who tough. Like, that's for anybody. Like, it's up with anybody uh, like that. I'm going to say this. Like I said, I'm from Nagnish. Uh-huh. Um, years ago, you know, some of us come to Shreveport, we not too far. But I, I used to always hear, like, the Shreveport Bolsha guys, they slang guys, but they fight yeah, too. Yeah, we fight. Now, when you go down south, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, all them guys, you all you hear is gunplay. gunplay. I don't really, they, I'm not saying they don't fight there, uh-huh. but I hear mainly gunplay down there. I've heard it was always main. The street poor guys, them boys, be yeah, fighting. Yeah, it like, will fight. But, so. like, I was in BR, too, though. And you might fight a little bit. You might fight a little bit, but in BR, the, after that club, you fight. After that club, no, you better get out of there. You better have that iron with you because nigga finna shoot you. Like, on my life, like, you finna, yeah, they going to go. Everybody running. You better hope that if they leave first, you better leave right behind them. You feel me? Because they going to get that roar. Real talk. They going to get that iron. For sure. Real talk. Sure. Now, I know over here on, on me over on Bolger's side, you got the casinos and stuff like that. But to you, like, what's the real difference between Shreveport and Bolger City? But Shreveport, I ain't gonna lie, Shreveport is the city city. If you wanna go have fun, you wanna go to the clubs, and I'll let that Shreveport. You feel what I'm saying? Bowls are more on the business side. You feel what I'm saying? That's where a lot of businesses, like if you wanna work in a, a good job, you can go to Bowls. If you wanna, you know, there's a lot of trappers and shit in Bowls too, like, but that's where the money is. Like, you go get your money over there in Bowls. You feel what I'm saying? Shreveport, you come get some money too. But you're going to run into a whole lot more beef in Shreveport. You feel what I'm saying? A whole lot of road stops and everything. But it's going to be you can club over here. You feel me? Like, it's a couple clubs in Boulder, but everybody coming to Shreveport, the club. You feel me? We come to that ratchet to turn up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real talk. And then, like, Boulder, I know people don't even leave Boulder. 
Like, ain't no leaving boats. Like, they only come to Shreveport, two clubs. Other than that, they not coming to Shreveport. Mm -hmm. Literally, unless they got something important to do or go to Styles or the club or something, they not coming to Shreveport. Mm -hmm. Real talk.